The wireframe modifier transforms a mesh into a skeleton of itself. It takes all of the edges of a mesh and turns them into four-sided polygons. So this is a really cool modifier and you can make a lot of interesting shapes using this. I'm just going to add the wireframe modifier to this cube on our viewport and straight away you can see what has happened. I can adjust the thickness and I can also offset it. So let's say I want to create a quick window. I can just come into edit mode, subdivide one of the sides of the cube, go back into object mode and there you go. The boundary option creates wireframes on mesh islands. I have never used this option personally. Checking the replace original option here allows you to get the original mesh back but with the wireframe on top of it. So you now get that nice border around the cube. Even thickness will create thickness whilst taking sharp corners into account. Relative thickness will determine the thickness of the edges by the length of the edge. So for example, longer edges will be thicker. The crease edges option here is only used along with the subdivision modifier to give you more control over the process. So if I add a subdivision surface and now enable the crease edges, you can see that I can manipulate it. And the material offset option here just reads whatever material is on the material index of the mesh. So for example, if I create three materials, blue, red and yellow. So Blend will read this as an index. This is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. If I now come to the modifier, I'll just turn on material preview first. So if I come to the wireframe modifier, at the moment it's set on 0. If I change this to 1, you can see it's now red because red is at index 1. So if I go to index 2, it should become yellow. And then the vertex group option here just limits the modifier to that group. So for example, I can assign this face here to a vertex group. If I now select that vertex group, you can see the wireframe is only being created for that vertex group. I can adjust the factor value here to retrieve more of the external geometry. You can also click this button here to invert the values. I hope this video has helped you understand the wireframe modifier a bit better and I will see you in the next video.